Hi, my name is Hai Yun Luo and people around me usually just call me Phoebe. I applied to this management program at University of Sydney because I want to enrich my corporate managerial concepts and hand skills in an effort to realize my career ambition in consulting. This management program is one of the best in the world, with a great emphasis on cultivating real-world skills via collaboration projects with industry. I think it is of great value for me. In addition, the University of Sydney enjoys a great reputation around the world. I think it would therefore be an advantage for me to hunt a satisfactory job in the future. Where do I see myself in five years? Well, upon graduation from this program, I plan to enter an international consulting firm to start my career, uh, for example, McKinsey & Co. I might start from being an associate, accumulating experiences by heavily involving in consulting cases for the first two to three years. Um, what's more, working in an international firm means opportunities for me to relocate in different areas for the next few years. The global work environment appeals to me and I desire to see the broad world and to experience different lives. How will I contribute to this program? Um, having studied both my high school and college here in US for more than five years, I have become quite accustomed to the educational mode in Western countries. In addition, the real case analysis from American business education has developed my ability to quickly grasp the key points of a case. Um, my rich business project experience is what I want to contribute to the classroom of this program, driving outputs of project teamwork. Besides, I also want to help international students like me adapt themselves soon to the classroom. Last but not least, my understanding of consumption behavior, consumer demands, um, business operation, and corporate culture, etc. of both Eastern and Western countries will contribute to the comparative study of global business. Successful experience and what I've learned from it. Um, in October 2019, I joined the course Business with Integrity Case Competition. It is a great education experience that we refine the skills that are critical for ethical leadership and in industry in business. Um, according to the given topic, which was to create a new venture or product that will prevent the negative influence of employees' behavior on social media. My team created a new venture named DECO, the ECO, stating a mission of protecting both the people and the brand. We took um, legal regulations and ethical concerns into considerations, um, work out solutions that would ensure an unimpeded business model and safe environment. What was worth mentioning is that my three teammates were randomly assigned. Before entering the semi-final round, we communicated only online. Um, as the team leader, what I've learned from this project is far more than professional knowledge. I respect it and I give a full play to each person's strength in both individual tasks and teamwork. Even though online communication might not be as efficient as face-to-face -face discussion, our well done jobs still sent us to the semi-final round out of about 50 teams. When we met for the first time on the one-day um, semi-final competition, even the evaluation team could not help exclaiming at our smooth teamwork. A failure and what I've learned from it. Well, if I have to mention one, then that'd be the process of choosing my major. At the very beginning, I chose my statistics major as in which to acquire technical skills that could support my business knowledge. Programming was the trend and I did want to learn it, thus I chose the computer science option. However, after a year long, I realized that it wasn't the best fit for me. I did well in all those programming classes, yet in the meantime, I gave myself a lot of stress and I paid much more effort compared to others. It isn't always bad to have stress, surely, and I've talked to myself, just keep trying. What made me change my mind is that I realized that I wasn't really that happy when I dove into the subject. I didn't have the enthusiasm as others do in programming class. I just don't see myself doing the similar things in the future. Thus, I changed the computer science option to applied option. Well, there are so many opportunities available nowadays, hence it is even more crucial to know when and how to give up, and that's what this experience has taught me. What I've learned is that people should be clearly aware of themselves at all times, both physically and psychologically, what is needed and what is not. In all, this experience are really fortunate to have because it can help you identify your goal, clarify your field of interest, um, so mental determination. 
just as I do, I now have a certain that management is the field that I want to delve into for my future. Other relevant information about me. Well, as a risk management and statistics major at Penn State, my obsession to professionalism has emerged quite early in my freshman year. In a course named Statistics for Business Decision, my professor commented on my coursework as one that's not expected from an undergraduate class. For the next few years of my college, I completed several business plans for coursework and a business plan for a hot pot restaurant venture was the most complete and satisfactory one. In order to gain a full picture view of how to launch a new venture, my team and I, we did far more than just marketing strategy as required. Instead, we produced a comprehensive plan that involves um, marketing research, uh, competitor analysis to corporates and financial management. When it comes to working on the details, my creativity and my business sense was leveraged to the maximum. In addition, um, we also put the plan in a real business setting and we have analyzed its feasibility. Uh, in all, just as how I did for my questionnaire via field trip, online or offline interviews, auditors, consultants, um, investment bankers are all doing the same things to fulfill their on-site due diligence a critical part of jobs. These are all my responses for the questions. Thank you for your time and patience, and I hope to hear from you soon.